All right, guys, let's review this V-Tap guide from Big Gator Tools. Doesn't it sparkle like a gem? All right, everybody, welcome back to the old iron shop. All right, guys, I figured I'd show you what kind of came in the package for me. Uh, we had another copy of their uh, catalog here. All sorts of interesting stuff here. Uh, you know, of course, they got the uh, large V-drill guides, standard V-drill guide, which is the one that I have. And uh, if you want to see that, I'll put a put a video up here in a card about the review of the drill guide. Uh, anyway, they have uh, standard thread insert V-tap guides, which uh, I think that would be kind of a neat thing to have. I may pick up one of those if I ever need to replace some threads. I'm sure Bruce with them probably got every one of those already. Anyway, send us another sticker. Uh, a little advertisement of their uh, their mini drill guides. So those will probably be kind of handy to have too. And this was something new. Uh, it's a grease coupler. And uh, this looks kind of neat. Uh, it hinges open and the it'll actually kind of opens and it'll lock on to the greaser, uh, which is always a problem, you know, trying to get one of those things snapped on there in some difficult place. Uh, you know, they like to pop off if they're not on there perfect. And if they get worn and whatnot, you know, they, they can be problematic. Anyway, this is the drill guide. Like I said, as reviewed before, we very happy with that. We're going to need that today. And here is the, uh, the tap guide. The game comes in the same kind of uh, plastic case snug fitting and uh, those will be very handy to hang and all that kind of good stuff this is the same hardened material uh, I love the finish on this I think this has probably been like tumbled or something after it was manufactured there's no burrs on this everything's countersunk real nice this is quality manufacturing they did a good job here anyway this thing here will accommodate I believe it's like 32 different tap sizes so, without any more ado, let's get a little piece of stock and get some drills and let's see if we can make a nice threaded hole and a piece of round bar, huh? How's that sound? Alright, I've got myself a little piece of stock here, which is uh, it's about 5 eighths, maybe 3 quarters or so. Uh, not super important. Got my drill guide. And we're going to have to use the 1364 hole for this. Got my little C clamp. I actually uh, restored this on video. I'll put a link up there in the cards. If you guys want to see how I fix this thing? It was frozen completely solid when I first got it. idea to use a little bit of uh, thread cutting oil on your drill. Just a drop or two. People get pretty carried away putting oil on stuff. Alright, let's drill that out. I guess we're going to have to do a little video on how to get that out. Hopefully it'll just come out easy. Well, let's see if we can get this to come out with uh, some pliers, huh? Yeah, it'll just come right out of there. This is why you don't buy Harbor Freight drills, I guess. Well, I apologize for that, guys. My my cheap Harbor Freight drill bit here uh, snapped, so uh, it's the next day I had to go find another. Uh, what is it, number seven drill bit. Anyway, got that drilled. Got my quarter 20 tap here. Let's uh, see if we can get the tap to go through here. This should be a better tap than, uh, than my drill. Let's see. 
Oh, this is a Greenfield Tap and Dive. At least we know we got a quality tap. So, I'm gonna line up on my hole here, and I'm gonna kind of use this to help. Okay, I can feel that wants to grab on there. I'm just using that to help line up the tap. Good old sulfur thread cutting oil. Pick whatever flavor of uh, thread cutting oil you like, but that's the one that I usually use. Every few turns you want to back it off just to break the chips. All right, now that should be in there far enough that we won't need to guide anymore. Let's break this down and finish tapping it the rest of the way. Hold on to. Do this just so I got a way to, to hold on to it. Alright, that's all the way through. get a bolt and we'll try a bolt in there and see how it fits. Well alright guys, found myself a nice long quarter 20 bolt. Right around in there. Goes in real nice. And you should be able to see it's getting square to the bar in both directions. In the center. So I think that did a good job. Aside from me snapping off my drill bit in there. Went off without too much of a problem. And I think probably the, it wasn't cutting very good and I think it probably could have stained and been sharpened even though I think it was brand new. But that's what you get when you buy Chinese, I guess. Anyway guys, love these tools. I'm so glad I did this review with Big Gator. Uh, they were nice enough to give me a promo code. It's Old Iron Shops 10 and uh, why don't you guys check out these videos that are coming up here and uh, hope to see you guys around.